David was a generous, kind, humble, athletic young man from the moment that he was born. When Justin was about 16 years old, things dramatically changed in the household. Uh, he got real quiet, sullen, isolated. He became angry at times. Uh, so I knew something was really wrong, but I just didn't know what that was. And I really didn't even suspect or think it was anything to do with drugs. When David was about 15 and a half, we came to the realization that his use of alcohol and marijuana and, and some other substances had gone beyond what we initially thought was just teenage experimenting and realized we needed to get some professional help. When Justin was a little boy, I, I, I remember always praying, um, you know, keep him safe, Lord, you know, oh my goodness, you know, he has so much potential. He can do anything he wants to do. And then my prayers became extremely desperate where all I prayed was just keep him alive. I remember it as if it's in a dream. The mother of his friend called uh, to say that there was a problem. The world just shattered. David had been huffing as soon as I heard that and that they were trying to revive him. I knew what that meant and I knew already then that the chances of him being saved were very slim. And I saw the message light flashing on the phone. Kim, you need to call. The next one was, uh, Risa needs to talk to you. And the third one was, I'm so sorry. And by the time I got to that last one, I knew it was, it was not good. Heroin was his lover was his best friend, was like this, I always kind of relate it to an abusive spouse, but, but where he just kept going, but I love her, you know, the heroin. He kept going back and getting kicked in the teeth, and yet he continued to go back. It's important that we tell David's story. Uh, uh, it's important that we put this human face on the disease of addiction and how powerful it is, particularly in adolescence. It's like you're underwater and you're drowning and you're reaching up and trying to get the help that you can before it's too late. And yet you don't really know where that help is. By telling his story in the way that we've been allowed to, he is still such a, uh, a big part of us and will always will be. Doesn't mean that uh, I wouldn't give it all up if we could have him back. Maybe this wasn't the version of life that I necessarily wanted or wanted for my child, but um, I love him uh, as much today as I did when he was born. I'm hopeful that he can take this experience and use it for good. I kind of have faith that he will, and um, that he'll just keep moving forward in a positive way. Mm -hmm.